I had some problems, man. Um, finding it, finding it hard to repent a lot, and I've been having crazy dreams and stuff like that, man. Oh yeah. Mm. How do you find it hard to repent? You should find it easy to know. repent and hard to fight. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's basically what I've been saying, but I got it wrong. Just... So you've repented, but you're having struggling fighting. Yeah. So you're you just give up easily, basically. Well, why would you do something like that? Maybe because it's the people I'm hang I'm around with, like because I live with my mum's, and she's not a believer, so she smokes and stuff like that, and it's hard to like. You know, be around someone that's smoking and stuff like that, so. What else going on? Any drug use? Marijuana? Mm, marijuana, well, the last time I used that was about a week ago. Last weekend. Mm -hmm. so it's just a weekend gone. I've been drinking as well. I just want to give up. Literally, I've, I've had enough. Well... Unfortunately, w along with coming g and giving up, you need to actually fight the good fight yeah, of yeah. faith. Mm -hmm. So it's not an easy thing. It's actually yeah, yeah. a war that you're go going into. I know, I know, yeah. So are you reading your Bible? Yeah, I, I have been reading it. I've, I've got it on audio because I can't, I can't read all right. So I've got it on audio. I've been listening to that, but I am getting my Bible this week for um 20 pounds something like that but yeah i'm just waiting on getting that my dad did get one the other day and it's like we've been sharing with it and like reading it together because uh, i find it hard reading it on my own so mm -hmm. all right so what are you calling them for some prayer yeah basically yeah get over and done with all right well, this doesn't really work like that. Get it over and done with. You're going to fight one way or another until the day you die. Mm hmm All right? But I'll pray for you, okay? Because I feel like... Shut the door. Shut the door. My little brother. All right. Just, just confess off the big sins and ask God to deliver you. Tell him you're not strong enough on your own. My big sins. Confess them to God, not me. Father, in Jesus' name. Father, in Jesus' name. I confess my sins, which I can't give up. But I'm finding it hard to believe. I'm just having a hard time repenting. And I confess all my sins, every one of them. I forgive my friends, my enemies and people that have hurt me in the past. What else is there? Confess that I lost. I confess I smoke. I drink. Just say, Father, help me with these things. Father, help me with these things, please. I'm trying to be real with myself. I know I'm not strong enough on my own. I'm trying to be real with myself. I know I'm not stronger on my own. All right, let me pray for you. Just look at me. Every spirit in his body that's binding him up with drugs and alcohol and cigarettes and lust, come out of his mouth right now and go to the pit where you belong. I tear you at your roots. He is being real with himself. He knows he's not strong enough. He asked the Lord for help, and you got to go in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Fire all over his shirt, his hands, his legs. Out of the mouth right now, demons. Go to the pit. Angels, pull them up. Pull them up. Pull them up. Pull them in Jesus' name. Out of the mouth. Out of the mouth, serpents. Fire, head to toe. Out! Come on, demons. Get out of there in Jesus Christ's name. Father, fill him up with the Holy Ghost and fire, right in the stomach, hotter, hotter, hotter in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Out!
out, serpents, right now, every agent of Lucifer. I break the generational curses on his life and the bondage. Fill up his whole body with light, Lord. Fill his body up with light. He's sick of his sin. He knows he's not strong enough. Out, right now, in Jesus Christ's name. Out, demons. Head to toe. Head to toe. Out. Out, spirits, right now. Angels, pull on them. Pull on them. Rip them out of his chest, his back, his head, his hands, his feet. Every soul tie of lust and drugs and nicotine demons. Alcoholism and depression. I burn the roots out of his mind right now in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I burn the roots out of his mind right now in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Fire on the legs, the hands, the feet, every part of the body. Fill him up. Fill him up, Lord. Every demon that hears my voice, look at Jesus Christ and go where you belong. Look at Jesus Christ and go where you belong, spirit, right now. Angels, tear that thing at its root. Bind the strong man and uproot the legions. Fire. Fire, head to toe. Fire, head to toe, out of the mouth. Out of the mouth. Out, right now. Out, right now. Right now, I cut you up with rebukes. Fill them up with agape love, Father. Purge these devils from the inside out. Collapse them. Collapse them. Collapse them. It's not about his sin, demons. It's about he recognizes it and he hates it and he knows he's not strong enough. God blesses the truth. God blesses people that are real with themselves and know that they're dirty. Now get out. In Jesus Christ's mighty, you're defeated. You're defeated right now. Go to the pit, spirit. Go to the pit. I torture you ruthlessly. I torture you ruthlessly. What's your name? What's your name, demon? Speak out. I cut your throat open 70 times. Time to go. Look at Jesus. Where does he want you to go? Look at Jesus Christ, demon. Fire, head to toe. Fire, I rip your fangs right out of your mouth. I torture you. Jesus Christ is bigger than you. Go to the pit where you belong right now. I bind your hands up. I bind you ruthlessly. Angel, shake this devil out with all its poisons. Out of the stomach. Out of the stomach. Go to the pit where you belong, snakes. Fire, head to toe. Every agent of Lucifer, I roast you with force from the third heaven. Fill him up with the Holy Ghost, Father. Fill him up with the Holy Ghost. Fill him up with the Holy Ghost. Fill him up with the Holy Ghost. Break all the bondage of the enemy. Unwrap, demons. Go to the pit where you belong. Out of the mouth with all your poisons right now. Out! Out, serpent, right now. Look at Jesus. Look at Jesus, spirit. You're defeated. You have to leave. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Speak out, serpent. What have you been doing in his life? What have you been doing in his life? What have you been doing in there? How'd you get in there? Drink the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Drink the blood of Jesus Christ right now. I force feed you. I force feed you. I pour it down your throat. Look at the Lord. Where does he want you to go? Look at the Lord Jesus Christ, spirit. Look at him. Look at him. Spirit of alcoholism and nicotine addiction. Out of the mouth right now. Out of the mouth right now. I purge him out with the Holy Ghost. Go to the pit. Go to the pit. You're defeated. Go to the pit. You're defeated. Fire head to toe. Fire head to toe. Fire head to toe. Fire, head to toe. Fire, all over the house. I tear you at your roots. I break all the witchcraft over his life. 
I break all the masonry bondage and the Satanism in his bloodline right now, a hundred generations back, on both sides of his family. I break all the abuse, the drugging, the lusting, and the drinking in his bloodline, and I cut the curses out. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I tear you spirits ruthlessly. Fill them up with power, love, and sound mind, Lord. Fill them up in power, love, and sound mind in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Fire. Fire in Jesus Christ's name. You never thought God would have mercy on someone walking in sin, did you, Spirit? I tear you with force right now. I tear you with force in Jesus Christ's mighty name. All of you go now. More angels, more fire all over his body. More angels, more fire all over his body. No rest. More angels, more fire all over the house. Go to the pit. Look at the Lord Jesus Christ. Strong man, I choke you with flaming chains. I ask that the angels crank down on these chains tighter every second around your neck. I torment you. I torture you ruthlessly. It's time to go to the pit. Everyone that needs to go right now. Father, clean him out. Put a healthy fear of your wrath into his soul. Put a healthy fear of your wrath into his soul, Father. Out, Spirit, right now. Out! Angel, shake that devil. Shake it at its root. Shake it at its roots. Fire, 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 fire all over his jacket. All over the bed. Hotter, 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 seventy times hotter all over your body. Torment in your kingdom. Torment in your kingdom, spirit. Look at the Lord. Look at Jesus Christ. Where does he want you to go? Speak out. Speak out. Where does he want you to go? Where does he want you to go? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Angels, choke this thing. Tear this thing's throat open. Tear this thing's throat open. Tear this thing's throat open. Tear its throat. Start dropping hooks in its body. We're going to rip it clean out of the flesh right now. In Jesus Christ's name. You ain't going nowhere. We're going to see where you're going right now. Angels, drop hooks in this devil. Tear its throat open. Start hooking its arms, its throat, its head, its neck. Fear and lust and doubt. I put hooks into you and tear you. Angel, start pulling it up out of his body. Pull it up out of his mouth right now. Pull it up out of his mouth right now in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Tear. Right off the top of the head. Burn it out. Tear it. Tear it. Tear it. Tear it. Repeatedly. Tear it. Keep pulling. Father, more angels, more fire. All over this devil's kingdom. I break your strongholds right now, demon. I saw at them in the spirit realm with the blood of Jesus Christ. We pull you from the depths of his stomach. We rip you right up out of his soul. Burn, burn, all day long torment out of the mouth right now. Out of the mouth right now, you're defeated. Out of the mouth right now. Out of the mouth with all your poisons. Out of the mouth right now, drink the blood of Jesus Christ. Out of the mouth right now, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Pull. Father, reach your hand down and pull this devil with force in the name of your Son. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Rip this thing at its stronghold. Rip it. Keep tearing it. Keep tearing it. Keep tearing it. Keep tearing, Keep tearing angels. Keep driving swords through this demon's head. Drive swords through this demon's stomach. Torture it. Drive swords into it over and over again. Look at the Lord. Where does he want you to go, spirit? 
Speak out. <laughs> Speak out. <laughs> Another laugher going to the pit. Look at Jesus Christ right now. Where does he want you to go? Where does he want you to go? What's your name? What's your name? Angel, start ripping its fangs out one by one. Each finger twisted off. Break its hands, burn its powers, burn its armor, burn its legions in Jesus' name. Burn them, 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 burn them in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I want to speak with Ronnie. Are you ready to let go of your sins? Yeah. Say, Father, I'm ready to let go right now. I'm ready to repent right now. I'm ready to repent, please. Deliver, deliver me. I won't return back to smoking and drinking as of today. Just deliver me. I won't turn back from smoking and drinking again. Thank you. Come out of his mouth, demon. You have no rights to be in this vessel. Let's go right now. Angel, shake this thing out with force. Shake this thing out with force in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Shake this thing out with force in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Pull, 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 pull. Off him, demon, right now. Go where you belong. Out, spirit. Out, right now. Go to the pit. Go to the pit. Go to the pit. Father, fill him up with the Holy Ghost. Expand in there, Holy Spirit. Expand in there. Expand in there. Expand in there in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Every demon hiding in this blood, you have to leave right now. No rest for you, no hope for you. You will not hide in this body. I cut your throat open, I cut your hands off right now. Go to the pit. Out of the mouth. Out of the mouth. You, spirit, out of the mouth right now in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Angels, tear it with force. Pull, 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 pull. Harder, 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 harder in Jesus Christ's mighty name. All the way out. Harder right now in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Tear it at its strongholds. Rip it to shreds. All the way out. All the way out, spirits. All the way out. Fill him up with the Holy Ghost, Lord. Burn the, the hooks and the bonds out of his chest. The poisons out of his stomach. Burn them out. Burn them out. Burn them out in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Burn them out in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Burn them out. Go where you belong, spirits. No rest. Alcoholic and nicotine demons, I tear you. I tear you ruthlessly. I tear you ruthlessly in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Go to the pit. Bust up the strongholds, Father. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Father, fill him up with your spirit. Keep him till the last day. Let him know that this is serious, that this is not a game, that there's no excuses. There's no excuses for sin. And keep him, Lord. Keep him from the devil. And anoint him to serve your kingdom. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Rob. Sure. I've been waiting for a long time to do this. I don't know why. You better. You, you could die at any minute. You better be getting your soul right with God. I know, I know. It's ridiculous what I've been doing, man. I've just been having some mad dreams. I, I think I might have um, te emailed you a long time ago telling you about um, how 
it started is I, I, I watched a dream on YouTube. Oh, oh, sorry, I watched something on YouTube. It's called How to Fill Your Guardian Angel. And she was telling me how to do all these things, how you breathe in and breathe out, and then you'll feel it come over you and stuff like that. And then the, the time I went to sleep, I was getting tormented. I had a demon come over to me. My, um, my mom and my uncle was in the dream, and they were laughing their heads off, making me drink alcohol and stuff like that. Every time I was drinking alcohol, this this person or this spirit come in, into the um my room, my front room, and whispering in my ear, you're going to go to hell, you're coming with me. And I was refusing to say, yeah, I'm coming with you. I said, I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of you. Leave me alone. And it started putting on music that I used to like, like Eminem and stuff like that. And it started terrorizing me, saying, I've got my hooks in your feet and stuff like that. And after that, I, I, I realized what was going on, and this was a bad spirit. And I started thinking about God. And um, everything started going all fuzzy. Like everything, it, it sounded like a big loud bang happened. And my TV lit up in the room. And I see this man on the TV, and I'm not sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Jesus. But the way he was, he come and it was like uh, he had the thorns on his head. It, it, he was basically showing me I'm real. And it, I was in a, as I was looking at him, uh, I was on my knees in the river. And around me was just like grass and trees and stuff like that. And he was sitting there and he smiled at me. And then he looked behind me as if something was behind me. And then I fell back into my dream. And he, 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 cut, like, he was still on the TV, but he come out, he looked at the spirit, and I could see his eyes, and his eyes were like bloodshot red. And when he looked at the spirit, the spirit jumped out of, out of my dream, and I fell back into my body, and I woke up with my body, so it really scared me. And I just wondered if it's like going to keep on haunting me, because I, I, I don't think it's a dream from the Lord be honest well sometimes you see in the spirit and you're seeing the lord and the spirits in the same realm yeah because the power of god can enter the second heaven mm -hmm. but most dreams are from the devil absolutely if they yeah, they yeah. need to bear good fruit if the dream helped you turn to the lord the lord may yeah. have been present because uh, after that dream i I come onto YouTube to find something else and I, I run into you and I started watching your videos and from then I just trying I've been trying to follow you and I have been trying to find it hard to give up all my smoking and stuff like that. But I just needed to get over and done with so once I got my brother got a new PC, I got onto this and I finally got a hold of you and um I wanted to do it to my dad as well, but right now he's not here. But um now that you've done it to me, does that mean I could do it to him? You could have done yeah. it to him. You could, as long as you believe in Jesus, you can pray that demons come out of people. But many yeah. times it's better that somebody your family doesn't know prays for them. Yeah. Because yeah, they not. know they know you in your sin, they know you in your iniquity, and they're not going to respect yeah. you as much as a stranger. That's just the way God made it. Okay, yeah. I, I, I thought of that already, yeah. Because my, my dad, he's, like, he's becoming a believer, and I'm really helping him on stuff like reading the Bible and stuff. And he was like, oh, but I had, he was trying to go to churches, and they were reading from the NIV Bible. And I was like, no, this is wrong. They were trying to make us give out money and stuff like that, donations. And I was like, no, this is a dead church. I need to leave this church and just stay away from them. Because, like, they... They weren't, they weren't teaching on how to repent and stuff like that. They were just babbling on about some stupid stuff. And I just said, Dad, we need to get up and get out of this church. And I, um, I was born in the Catholic church. I, every church I go to, every every church I look for, to, like for a Christian church, I end up running back into a Catholic church because I was baptized a Catholic and stuff like that. I don't know if it's a curse coming over me or something. Well, you should be doing better now, right? Yeah, yeah. I rebuked, I rebuked the baptism of the Catholic Church before. 
when you said to someone to rebuke it and I was like, I've got to rebuke it because I've been baptised in the Catholic Church and now all I need to do is do my baptism. But it's been hard because there's not that many people you can trust from out in London, so all I've right. been looking for many people. Well, I know a lot of people over there, so just shoot me an email and I'll find you somebody, okay? What, here in London, yeah? That's right then, because me and my dad was looking for one, man. You just need to find a true believer, that's all. Yeah, yeah, because most of the churches around here, they allow um, gay marriages and stuff like that. And a lot of them are just going down the drain, going down the wrong path, and uh, it, it makes me sick how these people... I hear you. I've had enough of it, man. Well, as long as you read your Bible now... Do not return to smoking and drinking today. Mm -hmm. You still will be tempted, but it should be a lot easier not to smoke and drink after prayer. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you should feel fulfilled right now. Like, you don't need yeah, any yeah. of that. I don't. I, I feel better, yeah. I do feel better. I feel like I just need to give it up, and I know I, know I do, and I don't want to do it now. Get you, do, do a little exercise, half hour a day. Take a shower, go out and, and spread the word. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's because right now I've been trying to get out and like move from my mom's house, but I can't move away because I'm on on electronic tag, and that keeps me in the house. Like I'm like on house arrest at like nine o'clock at night time, and I can't move a dress at the moment until October time. So I'm just really hoping on getting out and getting myself a job and stuff like that. I'm just wondering, like, what kind of job I need to stay away from because there's a lot of jobs out there I know that involve sinning and don't I don't want to fall into one. Stay away from ones that involve sinning. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm going to a drug and alcohol um, meetings at the moment and then sure they weren't AA meetings because I told them I don't want nothing to do with this sitting in a circle crap and start praying to things that are not of God, yeah? And they were like, okay, we're going to have to send you to the key worker though and make sure that you, you're getting this alcohol problem sorted and stuff like that. But I ain't really been listening to them because what they teach me is, oh, you can still drink alcohol but just cut down and stuff like that. So... It's just been really hard for me. I've been bumping into Christians in the in the place there that are still having problems with alcohol as well. And I've been trying to help them as well and saying, look, you need to come out of this, man. I'm trying myself, and I hope you could do it as well. Stop drinking and stop smoking, man, because it's bad. Well, just stop and tell your PO that you've quit and that she could, or she or he could piss test you whenever they want. Yeah, yeah. And that, that, that you've, you're done drinking. Yeah, yeah. And I've, that, I've told them that, yeah. And then, then you shouldn't have to go to the meetings anymore. Mm. I was just wondering, if because it's part of my sentence that I'm on for doing a robbery. When I was on drugs, I was literally like, I was trying to rob someone's bike, and I robbed this person's bike, and, I, and then as I robbed his bike, I tried robbing someone else's bike. And that weren't me. Like I, I'm trying to rob two bikes at once and stuff like that. And I was off of cocaine. I was off on alcohol. Like at least three spirits I was drinking at that time. And I was hiding in dark alleyways and stuff like that, trying to grab people and rob them for their money and stuff like that. And since then, I've just I've I've found the Lord and I want to repent. Like and well, I, I really thank you for like doing this for me. And Thank you, Jesus, too, for doing it for me as well. No problem. At least you were dedicated in your robbing. Now you need to be dedicated for the Lord. Yeah, yeah. The Lord likes dedicated people. He'll take a dedicated thief or a designated criminal yeah, and yeah. make them dedicated to the kingdom of God. Just make sure you never return to your old ways, okay? Yeah, definitely. Because you will be tortured. Not only in the life to come, but yeah. in, th in this life you'll be tortured if you return. Yeah, definitely.
couldn't, man. I've been tortured in my sleep as well, man. When I like, I, I get dreams of my ex girlfriend coming to me and she's trying to have sex with me. And I told you the other day, I messaged you and I said, like, I knew I was in a dream at this time. I think I'm just getting stronger at knowing that I'm in a dream and then I'm getting fooled and stuff like that. So I, I noticed that she was a demon. And, I, and she started quoting something out of the Bible saying, you can breathe in real life, right? That's, it says it in the Bible. And then I started breathing and then I, I went, hold on a minute, and grabbed it by the throat and said, get behind me. You evil started swearing, yeah? And mm-hmm. it started choking me back. And as soon as I started doing that, I called out for Jesus and I woke up straight away. And I was like, man, I don't know what's going on here, man. Yeah, that that's a good song. Yeah. At least you're stopping them before they're finishing what they came to do. Yeah, man. I was ready to drag that thing down with me if I was going to hell, man. Yeah, I've had things like that happen to me where I grab onto them and then they they go from the form that they're pretending to be and then they... Yeah, yeah. You see yeah. Their, their fangs start to... Yeah. Almost like they're being electrocuted, but they'll start to turn into what their natural form is. Yeah, she's, she, at, at first she was like, what are you doing, man? She, it's a run away. She tried running away from me, but I grabbed it. I went, come here. Don't you think I know who you are? I started screaming at it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you. I'm going to get you. I choked it and started choking it. And then when I ch- choked it, it choked me back because it was strong. And I weren't strong enough, so I called out for Jesus. I just murmured Jesus, and I woke up. I was like, wow. That's powerful, man. Yeah. Soon, but, soon, soon you'll just grab them and they won't be able to choke you back. They'll be like yeah, yeah. little children. <laughs> and then, yeah. then a couple years later, a real big one will come along and, and show you that you're not as strong as you think you are. Yeah, and yeah, that you have to definitely. get closer to God. Yeah, yeah. All right, brother. <laughs> you have a good day, okay? Okay, man. Let me I'll, know if you I'll knew anything. I'll message you and whatever if I need any help, man. Okay, you be blessed. If you want to put this up on YouTube, you can. I don't mind. Because a lot of my friends have turned them down. And they they laugh at me now because I've turned to Jesus. But that's part of what you have to do when you come to Jesus. So. Okay. If you want me to put it up, I'll put it up. It's a good, yeah, it's a good story. Be blessed. Have a good All one. Right, thanks. God bless you, man.